Oh, wow. Aren't they a prize? Good posture, lovely features. Is that a magical broadsword at their back? Ooh, they walk with purpose, too. Why can't I get a client like that? My job would be so easy. Ah, oh, they'd be perfect. I want them. Ah, oh, they're going to walk past me soon. Oh, okay. I can try. Just be confident. yoo -hoo. Hey, good looking. <laughs> yes, you. I'm talking to you, the cutie with the straight back and the glowing broadsword. Oh. Come over here, darling. Let me have a look at you. That's a nice traveling cloak. It's got some dust on it, though. You just blow into town. <gasps> Why did I stop you? Well, I had a feeling. Come closer. You're a lucky person, aren't you? Good things happen to you unexpectedly. Like pretty women stopping you in the street. Oh, I knew it. No, no, no. I'm not a fortune teller. But... I can tell you your future. Let me see your hands. Come now. Don't keep me waiting. I'm no thief. You can trust me. There we go. Thank you. Ah. There's no wedding ring. Not so lucky in love, I take it. Oh, it's okay you haven't found a partner yet. Pretty people like you are intimidating. It can be hard for suitors to find the courage to strike up a conversation. Yes, really. Lucky for you, I'm brave enough to approach. And I'm going to solve all your problems. Follow me to my shop. Pretty please. Why should you follow me? You don't have to. But you'll be kicking yourself later if you don't. <laughs> there you go. Are you all comfy on my client couch? Why... Why are you leaning away from me? And you're blushing. Do you have a fever, cutie? Ah? Uh, you feel like I'm a demon that's going to make you an offer? <laughs> you don't have to butter me up. Oh? It's okay to be nervous. Everyone is their first time. I... What? Oh, goodness, no. No, darling. I'm a matchmaker, not a sex worker. 
I sell love and affection in a different way, though I'm flattered. Mm, you're adorable. Yes, and you're inspiring. I could feel it when I first saw you. A shiver ran down my back and... I just knew. N knew you're a keeper, not just a catch. Ah, uh, ahem. But you've been living a busy life, haven't you? Damsels to save, treasure to find. Yes, of course. I've heard it all before. Don't feel bad. The quest for love is a difficult one. Even when you're beautiful, there's no shame in turning to a professional. Now, time to get to work. All the clients I have right now are of the feminine persuasion. I take it from the way your eyes lingered on me that you don't have a problem with that. Oh, of course I noticed. And I didn't mind. No, no, I didn't wink at you. There's some dust in my eye. I couldn't possibly keep you all to myself. Not when I have so many women dying to meet you. My voice? Uh, uh, who is interviewing who here? Sit back and relax. I'm going to tell you about three lovely clients that I have. All right. Pick a number between one and three. Perfect. That will be... this one. Ah, oh, she's a druidess. That would be a smart match for an adventurer like you. And... she has a title, if you can believe it. I know, I had no idea druids were organized enough to have a hierarchy. Ah, oh, you're interested. <laughs> What's her name? Frazen. She's a guardian of an ancestral piece of land. She, she likes sugar cookies, long walks, and feeding the animals. She's a pretty thing, too. The Ancestral Land. Ah, yes, it's located... Ooh, very far away. I forgot I got her on file when I was traveling. You... you say she's too far away to pursue. Understandable. You'd want someone from around here. Ah, because you pass through so often. That's wonderful. Don't worry, I've only been talking to you for a few minutes, and I'm already getting lost in your eyes. I'll have no problem finding you a date. Ah. Uh, um, what? What was I doing? Right. I'm bachelorette number two. Uh, let's see. I have a girl here named Jax. She's a paladin with a passion for blacksmithing. She could repair your broadsword. 
It says here she's looking for a romantic connection with someone capable. How do you feel about long days at church together? Oh, I see. Yes, I'm the same way. I find the pews very uncomfortable. But the singing is beautiful. <laughs> yes, I can't believe we said that at the same time. Did you know there's a spot just outside the church where you can hear the choir? Mm -hmm. It's a really good spot for a picnic. Yeah, that sounds like a really good date to you. It does, doesn't it? What do you like to eat? Yeah, like your favorite snack. I ask all my clients before I pick the restaurant for their date. I want them to have a good meal, even if things don't work out. Oh, that sounds delicious. Me? I like strawberries and sponge cake with a strong black tea. It's incredible together. Ah? Uh? Oh, the third piece of paper I have. The last eligible lady. Of course, she's local. Like you said you want. She's a hard worker. A, a business owner, really. But she has some failings. She's quick to romanticize people. She thinks her instincts will never fail her. And when she's working, she puts on a bit of a show. Tries to act more confident than she is. Oh, she sounds perfect. I see. Uh, well, you have to tell me about yourself to see if you'd be compatible. What do you do when you feel sad? Ah, uh, I like to escape with a story too. They're so comfortable. It's like visiting old friends in the pages. They never change. They never want anything from you. Are you compatible? You are. Yes, I'm the third bachelorette. You're very clever. No, I'm just very obvious. How dare you? I really want you for myself. I don't usually show this side of myself to people. At least, not while I'm trying to do my job. You don't mind, do you? Oh, good. Let me take you out tonight. I'll show you wonderful, quiet places in town. I'll feed you desserts and learn everything about you. Yeah? That sounds good. Okay. Alright. It's a date. I'll see you tonight. Yeah. Wear something cute. I know I will. Yeah, I can't wait. I feel so lucky. I hope you do too.